Skywatch Media News for August 14, 2019. In recent weeks, the fear of a major earthquake in North America has escalated. As a series of strong tremors have been felt from Southern California all the way to the Pacific Northwest. The fear of a catastrophic event in America ebbs and flows with the frequency and the severity of a ground swell. But the concern surrounding such events never subsides. There is no proven way in which to predict the next big event, whether it be along the U.S. West Coast or in the heartland of America along the New Madrid seismic zone. These two areas combined have the potential to create an extremely powerful earthquake with devastating consequences. It is entirely possible that nature itself has a way of warning us of an imminent earthquake. There are five warning signs in no particular order which provide a non-scientific observational method for earthquake predictions. The first one has to do with the appearance of mysterious lights in the sky, which happened just prior to the actual occurrence of an earthquake. Days or even months before an earthquake strikes, witnesses have reported seeing peculiar lights rising from the ground, which hover in the air above them. These strange lights, referred to as earthquake lights, are not fully understood, but the theory behind their occurrence may be linked to the emittance of energy from rocks that are under extreme stress prior to an earthquake. Two years ago, in September of 2017, a green light was photographed rising from the ground and projected in the sky just prior to the most powerful earthquake to hit Mexico in the past century. Scientists have been unable to explain the appearance. The earthquake lights have been photographed and described in various ways, including blue flames originating from the ground, as orbs of light that actually float in the air, and as huge forks of light that resembles lightning shooting up from the ground. But regardless of their origin, these strange emanating lights are a real phenomenon. They are not based on UFO theories. It is conceivable that they exist as a warning sign. Skyquakes and mysterious booming noises are earthquake precursors. They typically occur several days before an actual earthquake. A cannon-like rumbling or a sonic boom is a phenomenon originating from the sky, and they have occurred in locations across the world, although even to this day they remain unexplained. Many witnesses have reported hearing these mystery noises, like this one recorded from Canada in January of 2014 that actually set off car alarms and barking dogs. Earthquake clouds, or rainbow clouds as they are commonly referred to, are said to be a sure sign of an imminent earthquake. Their presence in the sky has been described since antiquity. In the year 2008, the mysterious clouds appeared just 20 minutes before a major earthquake took place in Sichuan.
Although scientists have said that they have seen the clouds associated with the seismic event, the claims are mostly unsupported in the scientific community. Of great interest among observers is the fact that earthquakes have the potential to alter the Earth's atmosphere, creating changes in air density, as the Gochi Gravity Satellite revealed during the massive 2011 Japanese earthquake. One of the more reliable indicators of an imminent earthquake has to do with animal behavior prior to a seismic event. Various species of animals have actually abandoned their homes and breeding grounds prior to an earthquake. It is not entirely understood how animals and marine life can sense an oncoming event. It could have to do with changes in the magnetic field, or the ability to feel tremors that humans are unable to detect. But noticing these changes in your pets or animals may provide you with a forewarning of the event. It's known that dogs will become frightened, run and hide, or act erratically just moments prior to the event. According to some scientists, marine creatures such as the oarfish will behave in unusual ways that could indicate an imminent earthquake. These enormous fish, which are rarely caught on video, are known to rise to the ocean surface and beach themselves in what is believed to, to be a warning of an impending earthquake. It is entirely possible that fish are susceptible to movements in seismic fault lines, thus acting in uncharacteristic ways prior to an earthquake. The Japanese have long regarded the beaching of oarfish as a precursor to an impending earthquake. Therefore, the predictive connection between seismic events and unusual marine life behavior may not be as far-fetched as was once thought. The greatest precursor of an earthquake and the most typical has to do with electronic interference, most often on the evening prior to an earthquake. Various electronic devices may react to the changes in the electric field in much the same way that animals behave erratically to magnetic field disturbances when they occur. On the afternoon of September 14, 2014, a program that aired on PBS Time Warner Cable out of San Felipe in Baja, California, was experiencing a type of electrical interference. The sound was popping in and out, along with brief occurrences of screen blackout, which increased in frequency during the broadcast. And they shopped for more than 60 years. Bullets Wilshire closed its doors in 1992. But the real reason it isn't here anymore is because the old stars all died. West. So like the West with it, we'll meet at Gilmore Field when things that aren't here anymore continue. TV reception is seldom associated with consistent interruptions unless something unusual is interfering with the signal. 
But the interruptions continued throughout the evening of September the 14th in the San Felipe area. On the day after the programming interference, a magnitude 4.7 earthquake struck the area. But by that evening, the signal had returned to normal. If you live or reside near an earthquake zone, and if you should experience a small earthquake, then it is quite likely that an even bigger one will follow. But it is important to understand that foreshocks do not always occur in advance of a much stronger event, and it is virtually impossible to determine which tremor will become the main event, as there may be more that will follow. In general, earthquakes do not behave consistently, and the precursors that I have mentioned may not always be reliable. Imminent signs can occur hours, days, or even weeks in advance of an event, and sometimes these signs do not occur at all. Predicting the timing of an earthquake based on observations has been met with both success and failure in the past. On February the 3rd of 1975, scientists used converging lines of evidence such as animal behavior and foreshocks to persuade authorities to evacuate the city of Haicheng, China. The following day, a cataclysmic earthquake struck the city. The advanced warning of this event prevented a great loss of life. One year later, Chinese officials used the exact same warning signs for the town of Tangsheng, but this time there were no foreshocks, and so there was no prediction issued, and the town was not evacuated. On July 28, 1976, a massive 7.8 magnitude earthquake struck Tangsheng without advanced warning in what would become one of the deadliest and most destructive disasters in history. There are signs both on earth and from the sky that will forewarn us of the imminent dangers that lie ahead. We cannot know what disasters may await us in our future, but if we have a better understanding and knowledge of the warning signs, it will help guide us through uncertain times. Thanks for watching.